back to So Sensational. I'm Sophia. I want to thank everyone who stops by my channel and watches me. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Um, it'll help me out a whole lot. Also, like. So just subscribe and like. But I do appreciate you for stopping by, even if you don't do either. I still appreciate you. Um, today, I want to talk about a couple of things. that might be all over the place. Um, but the first thing I was talking about was my daughter and I uh, recently went to the mall. Um, I was just, we were just doing sighted guys because, um, you know, it was just a, something, it wasn't planned. So we just went to the mall and as we were coming into a store, the lady at the door just told my daughter, she was like, you're doing such a good service. And my daughter, she thought this was hilarious. She looked back at me, was like, why are you looking like that? I am doing a good service. And my only thing is people say things like that around people with disabilities. And, and I, I don't think it's done out of malice. But I also don't think that you think about what you're saying before you say it. Like, like why she had to go and ruin my day? Um, we were out together having a good time. I'm walking with her. And I don't know what it is that makes people think that people with disabilities are um, necessarily unhappy or sad. Because um, I'm neither. And the people that I work with who have a visual impairment are neither sad either. You know, if they do, it's not anything that they're broadcasting anywhere. You know, their they're everyday life, they're working. Um, but back to me. <laughs> I'm working. I'm in the mall and I'm shopping. And you're acting like somebody's doing me um, a big favor. So I asked somebody, I was like, why do people, because there was another instance, I was speaking with one of their directors at my job and she said she was um telling somebody what she does for a living you know and they were like oh my god you know you, you know like she was just the salt of the earth and you know she was like you know i appreciate that but the people that i work with they're working too like everybody's making a paycheck you know we're out to do a uh, better good for the whole community but the people that i work with is I'm, I'm not doing them any favors um and i asked i was like why do people think that Blindness is one of the worst things to be. And someone told me it's basically because people can't imagine living in a world of darkness all the time. And I get it. Um, and, and I do get it. And, and I can see how that would, well, I know how it would be traumatizing because I went from seeing everything to my world isn't completely dark because I can see light. Um, but I, I get it. But at the same time, I think people need to be conscious of the words that they speak. You know, because um, sometimes, you you know, education is key. Most people don't understand and they need some type of body to tell them because maybe they don't run into people with disabilities every day. But at the same time, you don't want to be a teacher every day. Sometimes you just want to live. So if you don't know the full story, why not just smile and speak and keep it moving, you know, instead of just saying things that could hurt. I think, that, you know, the power of words is, is such a big thing. This um, kind of segues me into my next thing. A couple of weeks ago, I went to uh, an expo at Disney. Um, a lot of larger companies have a diversity, equity, and inclusion part of their company to make the whole company inclusive. Uh, people with disabilities, maybe sensory, physical, um, mental, all types of disabilities, but to make the workplace inclusive. And so um, when I was there, I already knew that Universal, very inclusive. I, I've gone there. I had no problem riding any rides with my prosthetic. None at all. No questions asked. I was able to ride. I rode the Hulk. And if anybody's ever rode the Hulk, you know how that one twists and turns you. Um, and they were very nice, everybody there. Disney, I went once. Um, and this time when I went to this expo and they were telling all of the things that they had. So they had these headsets that you can wear. You can also plug it into your earbuds, so it's Bluetooth. And it tells you, like, um, Magic Kingdom, straight ahead, whatever restaurants to the right or the left of you, um, what type of food they sell. And I'm like, this is amazing um, that he even thought about this for blind or visually impaired people. And they were also telling me that with Quincy, some of the rides he could actually ride. Um, of course, I wouldn't put Quincy on the ride because <laughs> he... I just wouldn't. Um, but they were like, you know, and if not, there's crates at the rides and you can put the dog in the crate until you get back from the ride and come pick them up. Or, you know, whoever you're with, you are with, they can stay with the dog and they don't have to wait in line. They, you know, as soon as you come back, they'll get on the ride. But I was like, all of this 
making things inclusive for everyone. Um, just, you know, that company itself, um, there was also a speaker from Microsoft who was there, um, you know, and they were talking about not just, you know, inclusiveness for blind or visually impaired, but any type of disability, um, some of the games that they have. And I'm just speaking on blind uh, visually impaired because that's what I am. So they had a game, you know, a lot of people, I remember growing up, I used to love playing um, Super Mario Brothers, you know, the one where you jump up and grab the coins and go down to sewer drains and all that. Well, they also have driving games. And, you know, blind and vision impaired people normally can't do that. But Microsoft has actually um, made a game that visually impaired people can drive these cars with um, the game controller. Um, so I, I don't know how it works because I haven't tried it yet. I'm not a gamer. Um, but I, I do, that is something that I do want to try. Um, like I said, a lot of these, a lot of these larger companies um, have these diversity, equity, and inclusion groups. I know um, I was doing a fellowship with um, Bristol Myers Squibb um, for sourcing and recruit, recruiting, and they also have a very large one with all different types of groups. So it's not just disabilities, it's for um, LGBTQ, um, uh, black, African American, Spanish, like any kind of group that anyone can fall into. These companies have these groups to make sure that everyone is feeling like they are um, recognized and represented. Um, which is why I do these videos also, because I feel like representation is a big thing. If you can see someone else who um, looks like you, maybe has a prosthetic like, like you or blind like you, living and doing things, that can be a very big inspiration. Um, so I guess just to round it all out, just because you see with someone with a disability doesn't mean that, you know, they're struggling, um, you know, because I'm perfectly happy um, with what I have going on. I actually think, like I said before, it's kind of mixed blessing. I, I think I'm doing better now that um, I'm blind. Now, <clears throat> maybe you could... The amputation and my blindness together, is it, does it make life a little bit harder? Yes, I would be lying if I said it didn't. It does make it a little bit harder, but I'm up for the challenge um, and I'm doing it. And as long as they make these cute little sh shells right here, <laughs> I have no problem with my, my disability at all. Um, as I said before, once before when I first had my amputation, I didn't want anyone to know. Um, and I would go online to, because I, I, I figured that, oh my God, I already went through a big life change. And here I am with another one that's going to make me stand out even more. But I'm, I'm so okay with it. You know, uh, one thing I learned in the expo, well, not that I learned, but I heard, was that, you know, disability isn't a bad word. And and I think it just, it depends on how it's said, right? Just like with anything, it's not what you say, but how you say it. So no, disability isn't a bad word, um, but I prefer individual ability. <laughs> you can call me blind, but um, you know, and I do have uh, limitations with my mobility. Um, not many, you know. I can still um, get on. Um, as I learned during physical therapy the other day, I can do squats. So. You know, everything is relative. So with that in, in mind, the biggest thing is be kind. Be careful of what you say. Words hurt. Um, and that's about it. So I do want to thank you again for tuning in to So Sensational. I appreciate each and every one of you. Again, if you're looking, go ahead and subscribe and like. And I'll talk to you later. All right, go ahead and test the mic out. Uh, microphone check one two one two. Sophia's on the mic. Yes, you can do. All right, we ask for that.